Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 1b, and I'm going to do question 4. So in question 4, you're given two vectors. The first one is m, and it's given at 2i, 2i plus, wrong, minus j, or 2i hat minus j hat. So it's two units in the, uh, in the direction according to our usual unit vector direction. So look, this, the i hat corresponds with the positive x, x direction and the j hat corresponds to the positive y direc direction. So minus j is in this direction, so you draw it by one, two units in the positive i, or po a positive x-axis, and minus one unit in the negative y-axis, and gives you that vector there. Vector p is 4i hat plus 3j hat, once again corresponding to our usual unit vector notation, and it's four units, we'll say here in the, x, the positive x dimension, and three units in the positive y dimension, giving a vector something like that. We're also given that there are two scalars, k and l. Now, scalars have magnitude only and no direction. So they are just a number. And finally, we're given uh, an equation saying that k times m plus l times p is equal to 2i hat minus 11j hat. So look, k times m, that's a scalar times m which is a number times m. Okay, so it does nothing to it, just multiplies or changes, it changes its magnitude by a certain amount. And similarly with p. Now secondly, if things are equal across, uh, if we have two, uh, two sets, two equations, or two expressions that are equal, it means that everything is equal across the equal sign. Now, just bear with me a second, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. Well, first of all, I'm just going to multiply k times m, so that's k times 2i hat minus j hat plus l times 4i hat plus 3j hat equals 2i hat minus 11j hat. So we get 2k times i hat minus k times j hat plus 4l times i hat plus 3L times J hat is equal to 2I hat minus 11J hat. Now my next line is just going to, I'm going to do this just so we can make things a bit more clear before I carry on. So 2K plus 4L I hat, so I've taken everything with the I hat and put them together, plus 3L minus K J hat is equal to 2i hat minus 11j hat. Oh. Now, like I said, at the moment we are operating in two dimensions. We're operating the x dimension and the y dimension. And we're using two unit vectors, the i hat unit vector and the j hat unit vector. In order for these two expressions to be equal across the equal sign, it means all the i's must be equal and all the j's must be equal. So that means, and this goes with everything, if two sets of things are equal across an equal sign, well then they're equal separately. So this expression here equals this one, and this expression here equals this one. Now I'm sure you've seen that in your maths course, but if you haven't, this holds true everywhere. So we have 2k plus 4l is equal to 2. That means we divide across by 2, and you get that k plus 2l is equal to 1. k is equal to 1 minus 2l. If you want it, you could say the same thing, that 2l is equal to 1 minus k, and that l is equal to a half minus k over 2. They're equivalent. Now, before I continue, we have up here an expression with two variables k and l and we only have one equation relating to that so we're not able to solve it you need an equation for every variable that you have in order to solve it so we also have a second equation over here and um, we have 3l so we have two equations and yes we're able to solve it you could solve this by simultaneous equations if you want personally I, pref I prefer not to do that in actual fact I might do the simultaneous equations at the moment but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put k, my value for k in here, and solve for l. 
or put my value for L in and solve for K. But K looks easier because it doesn't have this divided by 2. So you have 3L minus 1 minus 2L is equal to minus 11. 3L minus 1 plus 2L is equal to minus 11. 5L is equal to minus 10. L is equal to minus 2. I'm just going to check the back of the book and see if that's correct. Minus 2, that's correct. And just, you can then, but we know that k is equal to minus, or 1 minus 2L, therefore k is equal to 1 minus 2 times minus 2. k is equal to 1 plus 4 equals 5. And that's correct. Now, just to show we'll say or just I'm not going to actually do this but the simultaneous equation so we will say equation 1 and equation 2 if you want to solve these simultaneously you'll have something like this I just rearrange it so I have k's and l's on both sides now to solve that I might multiply this one by 2 so you'd have 2k plus 4l is equal to 2, and you'd have minus 2k um, plus 6l is equal to minus 22. I'd be able to cancel these, you'd have to 10l is equal to minus 20l is equal to minus 2. Alright, you do the exact same thing with k if you want. So that's exercise. Uh, 1B question 4 if you like uh, if you like that I'm, I'm glad you I hope, I hope you like that sorry uh, please subscribe to my channel pass it on to your friends thank you very much